What's up busy people, hope you guys are all doing great, hope you are enjoying the video tutorials. If at any point you get stuck and can move forward, send me an email and let me know what the problem is and I'll be happy to help you, alright. So in this video we're going to be focusing on something called prompt engineering. Don't let that word scare you. Uh, what prompt is, it's just a simple set of normal human language instructions all right that we give to the chatbot to behave in a certain way to carry conversations in a certain way all right so if we want our bot to focus more and kind of push the lead a lot more into booking appointment we can get the bots to do that by giving it a set of instructions right uh which is called prompting right we giving uh, the bot prompts to do certain things the way we want the way that it will benefit our business so ai has changed chatbots forever right ai has made chatbots do a whole lot more than it used to do in the past right you don't need so many nodes anymore if you watch the previous videos about uh looking at the old school flows and the uh, new school flows you remember what i said um you know ai is just changing chatbots forever and uh it's making chatbots a lot more human that has been one of the biggest challenges for chatbot builders you know we try our best to try to humanize the chatbot but it a lot of times it behaves robotic but AI has now removed or let me say almost made chatbots become very like human beings you know that's how awesome AI uh, you know has changed chatbots and I think it's probably gonna even be better than what it is now so now you can actually train your chatbot to behave in a certain way to carry conversations in a certain way right compared to the past when it was too robotic it's almost now like you hiring a human assistant right and instructing and training it until it does what you want it to do that's the beauty of ai chatbots now all right so when you're doing that the training of that chatbot is what's called uh prompt engineering all right so don't let that word scare you okay so at the time when you installed this bot probably it did you did not have the prompt engineering uh or probably you didn't have the prompt part of it set up yet okay if you installed it and it already had a prompt uh, installed that is cool then maybe all you need to do is to go over to settings then go to integrations go over to prompt engineering and if your bot already had a prompt you just go over here and you'll see the name of the prompt right over there okay uh, below it there is something called functions right here this also works together with the prompt to help uh, you know make certain things user friendly for the lead uh, there are more uh, other options here uh, you don't really have to touch this but later on maybe you do but you don't, it's you could just leave it as it is for now all right um, and then uh, let, let's talk a little bit about it all right so here is a model of the AI that you're using okay the cool thing with this platform is you don't have to use your own API key they take care of that you know they pay all the api key usage and all of that all right and then the temperature you got something called temperature here so what the temperature is is uh the higher you make that temperature right so right now it's at 0 0.30 if i go 0 0.98 the higher it is the more creative the chatbot is going to be okay uh, and when I say creative, it's going to use a lot of colorful language and a lot of words to describe. Maybe you don't want that, right? So you want to keep it a lot more simple, okay? Whenever the chatbot is creative, it tends not to follow strict instructions, okay? So if you want your bot to behave in a specific, consistent way, it's not advisable to increase the temperature that way 
the bot will will adhere a lot strictly to your instructions okay so that's what the temperature is all right the maximum tokens you could just leave it you know just just you don't need to put anything in there all right so um whenever we want like i said before we want our bot to behave in a different way we want to use prompts all right now to create your prompt uh, at the point of installation if you did not have a prompt already installed in your account um, then you want to create a prompt right so you want to in the videos uh, there is a video in uh, a tutorial video where I talked about creating your prompt I don't want to go through that because you know just go back watch it real quick if you haven't seen it and it will show you how you can create your prompts go back to settings uh, integrations and once you have your prompt set up all right and you click right here manage prompt this is where all your prompts are going to be okay if you do not have a prompt you want to click add watch the video about how to add a prompt all right so this is where you go to instruct your chatbots to do what you need it to do the default one that i have here was something that an agency can use all right over here i said that you are a helpful assistant for a marketing agency use the information below to answer questions and book appointments so to me as a marketing agency appointment is important to me right so um you can see right here i uh, give the company's basic information i tell the bot about our services you know and when it comes to pricing i said you know what i don't need the bot to try to be giving pricing out because this, you know this is an agency i would like to talk to the lead you know uh, and see what exactly they need what kind of job work will be involved you know what kind of software do i need to get this job done what kind of tools and then i'll be able to give accurate quotes and pricing so i, I would rather if the lead asks for about pricing i'm trying to instruct the book to try to get them to book an appointment and then we can discuss that right so here i give the bot a set of uh step-by-step -step instructions on how to take their name and number uh email pick a date and time for the uh you know the appointment and then maybe um you know i ask them how they heard about us and stuff like that right uh another thing you can also do is you can add question and answers okay so you know your business very well you know the questions that you get a lot from your clients right so you want to write those things down and then create a question and answer uh, part here or you could say a question and answer prompt so the first part will be the question that customers your client ask a lot and then you add answer right and then you create another one you know you can name them you know or number them if you want to all right and then the bot the AI will take this prompt and will answer uh, your clients in a conversational manner. All right. Another cool thing about this AI bot is that it can answer complex questions, right? If uh, the clients, for example, the, your clients ask two, three sets of questions, right? In one, you know, in one sentence, right? Or two sentences. The bot can detect and answer all those two or three questions at the same time. You know, that is really cool. You know, and this is how AI has changed chatbots. You know, you don't need to use nodes to try to build all, you know, all those words and how to answer all this complicated stuff we used to do in the past to try to humanize the bot. We don't need to do that no more. AI is now doing all the work for us. You know, another cool thing also is that AI chatbot is bilingual. And I think it speaks probably about what 200 different languages, maybe if I'm not mistaken. You know, I know at least over a hundred, I think. But yeah, so any of your clients that don't speak English, the chatbot will immediately switch over to a different language like Spanish, you know, French, you know, easily like that. This this is this is another level, man. You know, in the past we could not really do that, you know, but now AI has humanized 
chatbot. It still needs a bit of human supervision as we're doing right now. We're still training it, but this is a whole lot easier than before, right? Just using simple plain text, all right? So let's see, let's see how we can change um, or how we can train our bot to do certain things, right? So for now, we have this default one here that is focused on uh, answering questions and mainly focus mainly on booking appointment. All right, so I'm going to save that and we're going to test that out real quick. Uh, let me go over to flows and let me go to um, let me go to welcome AI. I'm going to use the AI new school one. Copy this right here and uh, let me go over here and let's test this one out. Uh, okay, so here it says, welcome to AI marketing agency. How can I assist you? So I'll say like something like, I need a chat bot. Or I need, I need, let's say I need AI chat bot for my bakery business, right? Can you help? So right now it says absolutely we can help with that our AI chatbot service is designed to engage customers answer questions so you see how this your chatbot is now educating the clients about what they're gonna get with that AI chatbot right and then right here it says would you like to book a free consultation to discuss the details and see how we can assist you so you see how it's trying to uh, this is what i like right i wanted to urge the uh the clients or the potential clients you know to book appointment right i don't want the bot to do way too much right i just want to get them to book an appointment and then i can talk to them right so let's say the bot says say something like how much will this cost right so the client is not committing to booking an appointment yet but that's what i want so now the client is you know normal thing a client will do they want to know how much it's going to cost so let's say the client asked the bot that and then check this out so instead of the bot giving some kind of a pricing information it says in order for in order to provide you with an accurate quote I can help you book a free consultation with us during the consultation we can discuss the specific needs and provide you with the pricing details based on the scope of the AI chatbot service for your bakery business would you like to book an appointment for a free consultation so you see I've trained the bot to try to urge them to book the appointment so at this point in time it's very likely your client or a potential client will now say yes sure all right now the bot has convinced the client to go ahead and book appointment right and then now the bot will go ahead and take their first name and on and on okay so let's say you have changed your business strategy right now you do not want uh, the bots to book appointment no more so let's say that um, now you want to change your business strategy right you want the bot to behave differently right so I'm gonna go over to my prompt by going to settings I'm gonna go to integrations prompt engineering and then I'm gonna go down to prompt templates manage click on manage click right here and now I've changed my business strategy right I don't want the bot to take the name uh, number I don't need the bot to book appointment no more so this is just for demo purposes right we want to see how the bot will behave if we retrain the bot so let's say instead of booking an appointment I want to give the bot my email right and I want them to email me if they are interested in my services okay just bear with me follow with me we're just using this to train the bot just to show you that we can train and change the attitude or the behavior or the conversation of the bot right so for example over here i'm gonna say all right uh where it says you're a helpful assistant for a marketing agency use the following information below to answer questions right and then i'll say something like and 
instead of book appointment and to get the client to send me or to to email me to email me if they are interested in my services so see how i'm changing uh, or I'm instructing the bot to behave differently now, right? Using just simple languages. I'm not using no JavaScript code right here. All right, no JSON code. I'm just using, this is how cool AI has changed chatbots. I'm just using a simple human language to tell the bot that use the information below to answer questions and to get the client to email me if they are interested in my services, right? So we want to keep this consistency. Try not to um, confuse the chatbot, okay? When you are given prompt command, do not confuse the chatbot. Try to be consistent throughout. So anywhere else where the chatbot is, uh, you've instructed the chatbot to book appointment, you want to change that, right? So where, over here where it says our service and pricing. So I say in order for us to give you an accurate quote, um you so we want to change this right we want to change this okay so we are retraining the bot in order for us to give you an accurate code please send us or okay please email us and let us know details of what you need okay so you can see how i'm retraining the bot i want the bot to focus on sending me an email okay i'm changing that booking appointment uh, prompt okay so over here booking appointment let's say i'm gonna delete all this i'm gonna delete them uh all right okay so i'm gonna delete all this right so i say right here in order for us to give you okay sorry uh, appointment right here so over here where it says appointment booking always ask the user if they want to book an appointment well we want to change that and let's let's give it a new set of instructions that says if the user if the user want to book an appointment tell Tell them to send us an email. Provide this email to the let's let's use client. Alright, so if the client if the client The client wants to book an appointment tell them to send us an email provide this email to the client and I'm just gonna put in my email Texas website at gmail.com okay and then um, oh, let me keep let me be consistent now okay because the at the top I said support at Kessis website, so I'm going to say support at kessiswebsite.com. All right, and then uh, where is the other part? Okay, so say please email us and let us know details of what you need. Our email is support at kessiswebsite.com. Okay, so you see that consistency throughout, right? now i've changed the tune remember now it used to be focused on getting them to book an appointment now i'm trying to get the bot to change the tone and try and let or urge the client to send me an email okay this is just for demo purposes all right okay so let's go ahead and save it and let's now test the bot okay so we saved our prompt now we're gonna go ahead and test the bot to see if the bot has changed the tone this time around all right so i'm gonna go ahead and copy this right here all right let's go let's go and check it out all 
right so he says hello welcome to uh my AI marketing agency how can i assist you today so i'm gonna say hi i need facebook ads for my business help me something like that and let's see what the bot says now as the bot changes tone there you go it says absolutely we specialize in facebook ads management to help businesses like yours reach their target audience and achieve their marketing goals whether you're looking to increase your brand awareness drive website traffic or generate leads we can create a managed effective Facebook ads campaign for you. For more details and to get a quote, please email us. All right. So you see how the tone has changed, right? Let's say, uh, let's say, can I book an appointment? Let's say the client say, can I book an appointment? Let's see how the bot will change its tone. Can I book an appointment today? Let's see how the bot will change its tone. All right, so it says that it seems there are some missing. So, okay, so you see right here. Oops, now you can see that there is a bit of a mistake here, right? The bot is not following instructions, it seemed to be doing, uh, you know, showing old behavior. This is why I say that bot is behaves like a human being, right? Human beings tend to do that, right? You instruct them. That's why humans need supervisors, right? So you can imagine a bot will also need a supervisor. So it seems to be doing some kind of an old habit, right? So you can see when the um, client asks to book an appointment, I instructed it to tell the client to send me an email. Now the bot is saying it seems there are some missing field uh details needed to schedule an appointment could you please provide us this is not what i want the bot to do so now we got to go back to the prompt all right this is what prompting prompt engineering is you got to sometimes go back to the but when you see your bot behaving the way it's not supposed to behave you want to go back let's go back and go to the prompt and figure out why is this prompt not following what I told the prompt to do all right so you can see that where it says appointment booking if the client wants to book an appointment tell them to send us an email please provide this email to the client so now we want to emphasize that to the bot right we want to do that we could do that using um, Q&A we can also update this one and say something like this is very important okay so you see guys how you train your bot right your bot is sort of like let's say misbehaving in a way right and you come back and say hey this is very important okay uh, if the client wants to book an appointment tell them to send us an email then provide This is very important. Whenever the client asks, whenever a client asks to book an appointment, asks to book an appointment, tell them to send us an email. Them, then provide this email to the client. Okay. And then another way to emphasize is by doing Q&A. So you do say something like, can I book an appointment? And then we say answer. To book an appointment, please send us an email first and give and provide 
as details of what you need. And as an email, is email us, or let's say email us here. Yeah. Okay. So you see, we've now instructed the bot. We're giving it a, a Q and A sample, and then we rewrote this part here. We, you know, we rephrased this part and said this is very important. Okay. All right. And now let's see if the bot will behave better. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to flows, and let me go back to welcome AI copy link let me go ahead and delete the previous conversation we had delete that one all right and let's test out this new one right now see if the bot will now follow instructions All right, so let's say I need Facebook ads for my business. Can you help me? Okay. All right, so it says absolutely we can we specialize, you know, blah 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 blah, and then it does what I needed to do for more information and to discuss your special needs. Please email us, and then it provides the email. Let's say the client is trying to book an appointment. Uh, can I book an appointment today? Let's see what happens. All right, you see right there to book an appointment, please email us right there. It provided the email and provide us with the details of what you need, and we'll be happy to schedule the appointment. Guys, you see how you can train your bot now, okay? Before it did a little boo boo. And then I went back and instructed it to do what I wanted to do. This is what prompt engineering is all about. Okay, it's just using plain language. It's sort of like you are programming the box, but you're not using any complicated JavaScript or Python or anything like that. You're just using simple plain language, just as you would instruct an employee, right? to do certain things and the bot has now corrected itself or let's say you've trained the bot and the bot is now doing what exactly what you want it to do all right so that's what prompt engineering is there are other things for example if you notice that the bot is acting a little lazy where uh, certain things is supposed to do right like say to provide email or phone number and you notice the bot is handing over that responsibility to humans right because sometimes the bot may not understand something and then it's it will hand it over it will tell the client hey i'm going to hand over to a human but there are times you notice this is a simple thing the bot should answer right like let's say the you know you've provided you've given the bot instructions uh, as to what your phone number is when someone asks for the phone number you expect the bot to give that phone number to the client if you find out that the, there are simple things the bot is not doing and it's repeatedly handing over uh, you know uh, certain responsibility to to human what you can do if you want to go back to settings all right go back go to settings and then go over to your integrations click right here on prompt engineering click on edit and then make sure over here you do not have um, connect user to human checked. Okay, so if you find out that you you are what well, exactly what I explained that the bot is handing over simple tasks repetitively to humans, make sure you go and remove where it says 
connect user to human just take that out and then go to continue to save all right that way it will stop doing that that should help make it stop doing that all right so this is a little bit about prompt engineering uh there's a lot more to it you know but you don't need any complicated prompt engineering stuff all right it's just simple using simple plain languages to instruct your bots all right so if there are any new tips that i discover i'll do a video about that to help you train your bots all right hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next video take care and have a wonderful day bye mm -hmm.